Being in the zone in business, being in the zone in life is a point of concentration and it can be practiced. Hey, welcome to another episode. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about being present. What does it mean to be present and how does that affect your business and how does that affect your life? Well, to be present in my view means that you're in the moment, that you're paying attention to the very thing that's happening at the very time that it is happening. You're not thinking about the past, you're not thinking about the future, you are totally in tune with what is going on now. But how does that really help your life and how does that help your business? Well, let's take, for example, your life and your relationships. When you are present in your relationships, that means that the person with whom you are speaking, you are totally in tune to what they are saying. You are listening to every word that they say. You don't have what I call a rebuttal mentality. You ever talk to that person that uh, while you're speaking to them or while they're speaking to you, uh, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, what's the next thing that I have to say in response to what you're saying? How can I rebut what you're saying? That's the rebuttal mentality. And that is a great way not to be present. When you're thinking about what you can say, what your response is, how you might reply, what your objection is, that is not being present to that person. Being present to a person in communication fosters the depth of a relationship with your spouse, with your children, with your significant other, with your family, with friends, with your business associates. If you can remain present and in tune with that individual as they speak and listening for the emotion behind their conversation, listening for the history in that conversation, listening to their actual them giving of themselves to you in the conversation, that is being present to the conversation. Same thing happens in business. If you're in business and you have issues or challenges, it's because you're always thinking about what did happen or what's going to happen. Now that's not to say that you can't plan and that you can't look to the future to plan your business. Obviously, you have to do that. But if you stay in a place all the time where you're thinking about everything else, other than what's going on in the moment, you're gonna lose touch with your business. You're gonna lose touch with being an entrepreneur because you're not present. So athletes call it the zone. So have you ever been in the zone? Uh, I used to run marathons. For many years I ran marathons. I ran four marathons and I ran 13 half marathons, which meant I trained a lot in between those marathons. I had a 10 year stretch in there where I was like Forrest Gump, I was a running fool. And I will tell you this, that as I increased my mileage in training, somewhere around the 14 to 16 mile uh, uh, range, there was this zone that I went into. And this zone was total breath, total awareness of everything that was going on around me, all the sensations in my body I was in touch with, I was in tune to, the, 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 the steps that I was taking on the road, the greenery along the side of the road. I used to train in a place where there were actual um, herds of deer that were alongside the road. And sometimes I would run next to a deer that was just six or eight feet away from me. And it all felt so serene because I was in the zone. You know, basketball players, football players, uh, all athletes, when they get into that zone, it's like nothing else matters other than the moment that they are in the moment with them right now. And so being in the zone in business, being in the zone in life is a point of concentration and it can be practiced. It can be rehearsed. It can be developed. And very simply that's done by just concentrating on what's going on in the moment, at the time, paying attention to it, paying attention to all the sensations that are happening as you're in the moment. I think the best example of being in the zone or being in the moment or being present is my puppy Luxor. Now, 
you've seen my puppy Luxor on Instagram and you've seen him on my Facebook page. He's even been in a couple of my videos. But when I look at Luxor, he's a really big uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback. And even though he's this massive, majestic beast, he is always in the moment. Whatever is happening right then and there, he's in full appreciation of what's going on in the moment. He can't wait to enjoy the moment. He doesn't think about what's next. He just thinks about the moment and he responds to the moment. It's a good example, the animals that we have and the animals that we love, of being present and being in the moment. So, advice, be present, pay attention to the very moment Eliminate the past thinking and the forward thinking to concentrate on the event, the conversation, the thing happening to you at that moment. And when you do, you'll find that life is so much richer, so much more enjoyable, so much fuller. And when you're present to that, you'll find more out about yourself and you'll find out more about your own personal evolution. Be present, enjoy the moment, be in the zone. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, comment on it, and make sure that anytime you want to talk to me uh, for a free mentoring session, go to paulmontalongo.com strategy, and I will work with you to give you a specific plan going forward on how you can set yourself up for success. paulmontalongo.com strategy. Enjoy the video, and I will talk to you again soon.